Oh my gosh, that is nuts. Holy cow, it has been burning. This is because of the honey? I guess so. Oh really? By if it burns? It that is organic. hot. Like I could sleep out here next yeah. to this. Yeah, it's like a cool heater. You kept trying to put the fire in different places, but fire sucks the oxygen away. So you think that's the only place left? I think so. And that's what we got. That's what our tree, that's how hollow our tree was inside. That's nuts. They're just trying to congregate right there a little bit. That's probably only a hundred bees or something. There used to be millions, but all the honeycomb is gone, so they have nothing to eat. You just have a couple of stragglers. All right, I think things are looking up finally. We have all of the bees have left. It's kind of sad. I really wish we could have saved them. We tried everything we could. I think it'd be awesome to have bees. We're in the middle of the town. We're on an urban farm, which means there are a lot of regulations as far as if we can have bees or not. There's a lot of hoops to jump through and all that. So there's lots of advice online on how to get rid of bees. And Kevin read a bunch of articles and decided on smoking them out. So he would start a fire in one end of the log and then it would smoke them out and it would, you know, I'm sure it burned some, I'm sure it did, but a lot of them left. We saw like a swarm so we think that the queen left with the swarm. Um, so now what we just have is like little few extra bees buzzing around and now we just have to get rid of all this stuff. Which actually there's some cool parts, let me show you. So here's the base of the tree, not crazy? So we've got a lot of really cool pieces that we're thinking somebody might want to take, maybe on Craigslist. A lot of these like round, round trunk pieces. So that's kind of cool. In fact, we thought maybe we should make some kind of like goat, goat area out of it. So we're thinking maybe we should build some kind of like cool step thing for the goats to jump on and play on. Some of you recommended these pieces of wood to save for making those hugel, hugel culture mounds, those perm permaculture mounds. So I want to do that now. I want to use some of these and try to reuse them in some kind of cool cool method and we'll show you how that's done or at least we'll show you our experiment. Look at that mango. Look at that, man. I am so proud of you, Mr. Mango. Do you like how we have the pool ladders propping it up? That nice? Yeah, who do you think did that? You're right, Kevin. Well, remember how she said that that one might be laying eggs? Oh, yeah. Have you been checking? Well, I think if it's going to lay, it would lay under here. Mm -hmm. Because this is where it kind of sits. That. No, not under here. What are you doing today? Just chilling? Once these bees are gone, we'll let you out. Tomorrow, I really want to build a growing station for seedlings inside the house. So I'm planning on putting it in the kitchen, which is gonna be a perfect spot. And I have a whole setup planned and I have half of the supplies coming to me and it's gonna go right here. I'm gonna move this dresser and I'm gonna put it right here. So excited. Hey, do you wanna go to Lowe's with me on a date? I gotta get stuff to make my growing area. Eating oranges, or like Ethan used to call when he was little, oranges. Are you excited to go on a date? Are you excited because I'm going to spend like all the money we have? 
He should cry because that's obviously a surefire way to not have to go to prison or have to get a ticket. Traffic's cool. Okay, so I need a white that would go well on like a black metal. It's already painted black. I don't. I want it white. Oh, okay. Has to be white because white. So should I get that Rust-Oleum? Okay, I'm gonna do this one then. Like this, this double one, but I wasn't wanting LED. Like I want a regular fluorescent light. Uh -huh. And I thought I saw them online that I could get them for like $13. Oh, okay. It looks, no, 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 not Amazon. No, Amazon's way more expensive. Oh, really? Like 50 bucks. Oh my gosh. Yeah, crazy. So Amazon's I, but I'm wrong. They were the LED, okay. that was the ones I was looking at. And okay. so I either can do, <laughs> this this doesn't solve my problem because this, I'd have to get two of these anyway. Oh wait, that says two. That's two of them. That's what I need. Two foot two light, dude. That guy just told us we didn't. He didn't have any. Here's another one. Two foot two light. That's what I was looking for. The Eulotech for twelve bucks. There you go. Sheesh. Because it has a picture of two. Oh, yes. Kevin. All right. I think we have it almost the only last thing we need. Yeah, you should have told me you're looking for shelves. There's always lots of good shelves on Craigslist people are trying to get away. No, I wanted these specific ones. All right, I've got all my stuff to make my grow station. It's gonna be awesome. You look good. Are you ready to go to a Suns game? Yes. <laughs> I mean, you're definitely dressed for the part. Yeah. Where are your Suns sunglasses? Well, they don't really look very good. Let's see. Oh my gosh, stand back in the light. Let's see. They look really good. Oh, we're doing it, right? <laughs> no, not at all. 